Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for standing by for Wyoming Technology Company Limited's earnings conference call for the second half and full year of 2023. At this time, all participants are in listen-only mode. Today's conference call is being recorded. I will now turn the call over to your host, Ms. Claire G, the IR Director of the company. Please go ahead, Claire. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wellme Technology Company Limited's earnings conference call for the second half and the full year of 2023. As a reminder, this conference is being recorded. The company's financial and operating results were issued in a press release earlier today and are posted online. You can download the earnings press release and sign up for the company's email distribution list by visiting the IR section of the company's website at ir.vioni.com. Participating in today's call are Mr. Xiaoping Chen, the founder, chairman of the board of directors and the chief executive officer, and Mr. Sam Yang, the head of the capital market and strategy department. The company's management will begin with prepared remarks and will continue with the Q&A session. Before we continue, Please know that today's discussion will contain forward-looking statements made under the safe harbor provision of the U.S. Private Securities Litigation Reform Act of 1995. Forward-looking statements involve inherent risks and uncertainties. As such, the company's actual results may be materially different from the views expressed today. Further information regarding this and other risks and uncertainties is included in the company's annual report on Form 20F and other filings are filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. And the company does not assume any obligation to up- update any forward-looking statements except as required by law. Please also know that while well, Ms. Earnings Conference a press release and this conference call includes the discussions of an audited gap financial information as well as an audited non-gap financial measures. In addition, Wellmate's press release contains a reconciliation of the unaudited non-GAAP measures to the unaudited most directly comparable GAAP measures. I will now turn the call over to our founder and CEO, Mr. Xiaoping Chen. Mr. Chen will deliver his remarks in Chinese, followed immediately by an English translation. Mr. Chen, please go ahead. Xiaoping. Uh, 感谢大家来参加我们2023年下半年及全年的业绩电话会 上升2.2个百分点 构建起净水和IOT at Home协同发展的两大业务板块。第三,加强IOT at Home能力建设,丰富全屋智能解决方案,拥抱不确定性,迎接巨头的挑战。第四,大幅度的提升云米品牌影响力,签约九五后新生代演员田西威作为全球品牌代言人。第五,在渠道侧拓宽全网及全
在于米的科技园，我们将技术产品的部件生产、整齐装配、检测、仓储和物流等环节集中到同一栋楼、同一个园区，有效地降低了生产物流成本，提高生产效率。第二，拥有领先的行业自动化、智能化的技术生产线，在关键部件的生产环节建成黑灯工厂，结合对全流程生产数据的智能采集和分析，不断的完善生产工序和先进制造的流程。第三，我们将进一步的利用基础设施的支持，深化对技术产业的投入，加强核心零部件的自研、自产和自检能力，为向用户提供高质量的技术产品提供保证。在 A L T Home 业务方向，我们坚持 A I Help For 的理念，更加关注家庭健康监测和守护。在三月十二号的春季新品发布会上，发表了革命性的搭载毫米波雷达技术的心肺检测雷达 R F X， 实现对家庭成员无间断、无死角、无接触式的心肺检测，配合一键生成报告、智能主动报警等功能，能够帮助用户更好的关注家人的健康，守护家人的安全。同时，伴随着存量市场改善性居住的需求，我们进一步升级了一站式全屋智能解决方案，推出了价值百万余元的 Space 套系，为消费者提供更显、更彰显品味、更具备个性化和更智能的产品体验。同时，我们也拓宽全网及全球的渠道，在完善境内渠道的同时，重点推动海外市场突破，逐步扩充向海外市场供应的产品品类。为云米海外业务带来新的增长，并增强海外业务的抗风险能力。此外，我们同多个国家当地头部渠道建立战略合作关系，利用其本地的资源优势，进一步的提升我们在海外的销售和服务能力，促进未来海外业务的可持续增长。展望二零二四。全球市场拥有巨大的潜力和机会，我们将持续从四个方面改善经营。首先，坚持提供健康水的解方解决方案，让用户享有多种水质和口感的选择。其次，加强与战略合作伙伴的关系，进一步打造全球净水超级工厂，完善产业链。再次，进一步的拓宽渠道，并拓宽海外市场，进一步的加强云米品牌全球化的进程。最后，我们继续持续的提高提质增效、科学的平衡规模增长、优化组织和效率增长的和经营改善，助力公司进一步的恢复盈利能力，实现健康可持续的发展，为用户和股东带来长期的价值。好，谢谢。Thank you, Mr. Chen. I will quickly translate our founders' remarks before discussing our financial performance for the second half and full year of 2023. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today on our earnings conference call for the second half and the full year of 2023. In 2023, we continue to advance our focus strategy, optimizing our product mix and improving our operating performance through strong strategic execution. Driven by the restructuring of our product mix, the revenue contribution of home water solutions and consumable products increased to. 36.8% in 2023 from 32.2% in 2022. Through cost optimization and operating efficiency improvement, our gross margin increased by 2.2 percentage points, while operating expenses decreased by 33.4% in the second half of 2023, compared to the prior year period, leading to a significantly reduced. Net loss margin of 2.7 percent. Over the past years, we have demonstrated resilience in overcoming challenges and achieved significant progress in various areas. First, we deepened strategic co collaboration with major clients, including the renewal of a three-year strategic cooperation agreement with Xiaomi. Second. We reorganized our business structure and elevated our water purification department to an independent strategic business unit, comprehensively enhancing our R&D production and sales capabilities across the entire water purification industrial chain. Through this strategic move, we now boost two major business segments: AI water and AIoT at home, enabling synergistically development. Third, we strengthen our capabilities across AIoT home and enrich our whole house intelligence solutions to address uncertainties and challenges from industry giants. Fourth, we boosted the Realme's brand influence with the appointment of Miss Shi Weitian, a well-known actress in China, as our global brand spokesperson. 
Fifth, on the distribution side, we expanded both our online sales network and offline channel footprint while actively pursuing off overseas markets. Finally, WellMed's IoT technology park, meticulously con constructed over three years, was officially inaugurated in November 2023, ushering in a new era of WellMed. As a leading company in the water purification sector, we possess the industry's most extensive manufacturing and R&D facilities and have cumulatively applied for over 1,300 patents in this field by leveraging our expertise in advanced filtration technology and the material production methods. Meanwhile, we have independently established a comprehensive organizational framework and assembled an outstanding team of top talents across management, marketing, product development, and quality control, encompassing product design, R&D, manufacturing, and marketing, further improving the market competitiveness of our water purification products. We have also established solid industrial advantages and competitive barriers by building a water purification industrial chain anchored by our world-leading water purification super factory. First, we have centralized water purification product component production, leveraging our cutting-edge AIoT technology park and seamlessly integrated both upstream and downstream functions. We perform machine assembling testing, warehousing, and logistics in a single building in the park, effectively reducing logistic costs and improving production efficiency. Second, we have constructed the industry's leading automated and intelligent production lines for water purification products, featuring a fully automated dock factory for manufacturing certain key components. Comprehensive, intelligent, collection and analyze of production data further empowers us to constantly improve the production process. Going forward, we will continue to capitalize on our infrastructure supported by our IoT technology park, deepen our investment in the water purification industry chain, and strengthen our in-house capabilities across research, production, and in inception of core components to provide users with high quality water purification products. Regarding to our AIoT home business, we have adhered to the concept of AI helpful and concentrated on monitoring and safeguarding family health. During our recent spring product launch event on March 12th, we unveiled AlphaX a cardiorespiratory detection radar equipped with millimeter wave radar technology. This technology enables continuous, comprehensive, contactless monitors of family members' health. AlphaX provides users with intelligent functions such as one-click report generation and active alerts, empowering them to improve health tracking and safety. Meanwhile, as the demand for improved living increases, throughout the housing market. We have further upgraded our IoT, one-stop IoT home solution. With the launch of our mini million dollar space series, which provides consumers with a stylish, customized, and more intelligent product experience. Meanwhile, we have expanded our distribution network and global channels growing domestic channels while propelling breakthroughs in overseas markets. We have gradually expanded the range of product offers to overseas markets, which has spurned new growth in our overseas business and strengthened its resilience to high wind risk. Furthermore, Wellme has established strategic partnerships with leading local channels in various countries, utilizing their local resources to further enhancing our overseas sales and service capabilities and promote sustainable growth of our overseas business in the future. Looking forward, we see immense potential and opportunities in the global market, and therefore, we will continue to refine our operations across four areas. First, we remain committed to providing our users with healthy water solutions, allowing them to enjoy an area of water quality and flavor options. Second, 
We will reinforce collaborations with our strategic business partners, continue to build out our world-leading water purification supermarkets, uh, super factory, and strengthen the industrial chain. Third, to further accelerate the globalization of Wyoming brand, we will continuously develop sales channels and, and expand overseas markets. Finally, we will continue to improve quality and efficiency, striking a pre precise balance between scale expansion, organizational optimization, and operational efficiency enhancements. Harnessing this strengths, we will further restore profitability, driven healthy and sustainable development, and create long-term values for users and shareholders. Thank you. That concludes our founder's remarks and I will now turn the call over to our Head of Capital Market and Strategy, Mr. Sam Yang, to discuss our financial performance. Thank you, Ms. Chen and Claire. Thank you to everyone for making time to join us for the earnings conference call today. I will go over our unaudited financial results for the second half and the full year of 2023. Net revenues were one billion, 189 million renminbi, compared to one billion, 596.4 million renminbi for the second half of 2022. The decrease was mainly due to a decrease in revenues from IoT at home portfolio, as well as small appliances and others. Revenues from IoT at home portfolio decreased by 28% to 529.1 million renminbi for the second half of 2022. The decrease was primarily due to the IoT at home portfolio decrease was primarily due to the streamlining of product offerings, which was uh, achieved by reducing certain SKUs of smart white goods such as uh, smart refrigerators, smart air conditioners, and smart washing machines. Revenues from home water solutions decreased by 20.5% to 370.4 million renminbi, from 399.1 million renminbi for the second half of 2022. The decrease was due to the lower volume of water purified sold to Xiaomi Corporation. Revenues from consumables decreased by 4.2% to 178.5 million renminbi from 186.4 million renminbi for the second half of 2022. The decrease was primarily due to the lower volume of water purified filters so to Xiaomi Corporation. Partially offset by the increase of sales Xiaomi brand water purified filters. Revenues from small appliances and others decreased by 40.5% to 164 million renminbi from 275.6 million renminbi for the second half of 2022 primarily due to the ongoing product portfolio adjustment within this category. Gross profit was 282.7 million renminbi compared to 345.6 million renminbi for the second half of 2022. Gross margin was 23.8% uh, compared to 21.6% for the second half of 2022. The increase was uh, primarily driven by the company's effort to shift the product mix toward higher gross margin products, such as water purifiers and uh, filters, and partially offset by a decrease in the selling price of certain clearance products as a result of the product portfolio adjustment. Due to operating expenses decreased by 33.4%, to 344.3 million renminbi from 517.1 million renminbi for the second half of 2022, primarily attributable to the streamlining of the organizational structure 
and overall improved uh, op operational efficiency. In greater detail, R&D expense decreased by 19.7% to 113.4 million RMB from 141.2 million RMB for the second half of 2022, meaning due to a decrease in R&D expert and uh, related salaries and expenses. Selling and the marketing expenses decreased by 36 percent to 188.2 million RMB from 294.1 million RMB for the second half of 2022, mainly due to a decrease of online platform services, logistics expenses, and sales-related personnel costs. GNA expenses decreased by 47.8% to 42.7 million RMB from 81.8 million RMB for the second half of 2022. Primarily due to the fact that a significant amount of additional expert credit loss allowance was made against a third party third customer actually in the second half of 2022. Net loss attributable to ordinary shareholders of the company was 28.7 million RMB, and the non gap net attributable to ordinary shareholders of the company was 30.9 million RMB. Despite the decrease in revenue scales, our net loss attributable to ordinary shareholders of the company narrowed by 84%. Demonstrating uh, improvement in our operational efficiency. Additionally, our balance sheet remained healthy. As of December 31st, 2023, the company had a cash and a cash equivalent of 491.7 million RMB, restricted cash of 144.6 million RMB, short term deposit of 365.8 million RMB and a short term investment of uh, 30.4 million RMB. Next, let's briefly discuss key financial results for the full year of 2023. Net revenues were 2 billion from 193.4 million RMB compared to 3 billion 200. 32.7 million RMB for 2022. Revenues from IoT at home portfolio decreased by 24.6 to 1 billion 220.9 million RMB from 1 billion 619.9 million RMB for 2022. Revenues from home water solutions decreased by 11.3% to 604 million RMB from uh, 681.1 million RMB for 2022. Revenues from consumables decreased by 12.3% to 314.4 million RMB from uh, 358.4 million RMB for 2022. Revenues from small appliances and others decreased by 38.2% to 344.1 million RMB from 573.3 million RMB for 2022. Gross profit was 569.5 million RMB compared to 737.1 million RMB for 2022. Gross margin was 2020. 20.8% equals the same as uh, 2022. Total operation expenses decreased by 31.9% to 706.2 million RMB from 1 billion and uh, 36.5 million. RMB for 2022. In greater detail, 
R&D expense is decreased by 25.7% to 222.9 million RMB from 300 million RMB for 2022. Selling and marketing expense is decreased by 34.7 to 401.8 million RMB from 614.9 million RMB for 2022. GNA expense de- decreased by 33% to 81.5 million RMB from 121.7 million RMB for 2022. Near loss attributable to ordinary shareholders of the company was uh, 84.7 million RMB. The non-GAAP net loss attributable to ordinary shareholders of the company was 84.6 million RMB. Yeah, this concludes our prepared remarks. And we will now open the call for Q&A. Mr. Chen, our founder, and Mr. Sam Yang, our head of capital markets and strategy, will join this session and answer questions. Operators, please go ahead. Thank you. We will now begin the question and answer session. To ask a question, you may press star than one on your telephone keypad. If you are using a speakerphone, we ask that you please pick up your handset before pressing the keys. To withdraw your question, please press star than two. And for everyone on today's conference call, if you wish to ask your question to management in Chinese, please immediately repeat your question in English. We will pause for just a moment while we assemble our roster. And today's first question comes from Hunter Diamond at Diamond Equity Research. Please go ahead. Hi, everyone. Firstly, congratulations on the results. Um, My question is, with the recent strategic move of relocating the smart water purification system facility to the Viomi Internet of Things Technology Park, can you provide insights into the new product development pipeline? More specifically, uh, what innovative product launches can stakeholders anticipate in the water purification segment over the next two quarters, and how do these align with Viomi's broader innovation and growth strategy? Okay, thank you, Hunter. I will briefly uh, translate the questions to Chinese. Uh, 基于最近将净水智能净水工厂整合到IoT科技园的战略策略,公司能否提供一些关于新产品开发的一些见解,然后具体来说,近两季在净水领域会推出哪些新品? About this question, Mr. Sam will uh, answer the question in, in represent of the management. Recently, we proudly released our new product, Realme AI Mineral Water Purify Kunlun, with an advanced technol- technical method and a strictly select high quality mineral resources. We successfully realized the slow precipitation of uh, minerals of um, purification filters in a long-lasting and steady state, which makes the filter water contain six kind of uh, beneficiary mineral elements, and also the same as the natural mineral water, especially the strong helium content in our filters water can reach the level of twice of the national standard for national mineral water. With the consumption of upgrading the pop- popularization of the concept of healthy drinking water, people's demand for drinking water gradually changed from clean water to healthy water. By launch of Quinlun, we aim to lead the trend and break through the development of the water purified industry, targeting at the new generation of consumers pursuing a healthy lifestyle. Moving forward, we will follow the route of producing mineral water, enrich the related product mix, and uh, provide customers with healthy water solutions for different scenarios. In addition, we have built the Viomi water purification superfactory to achieve highly integrated industrial chain, 
featuring a fully automated dark factory for manufacturing key components, which will improve our production efficiency and enhance the cost and advantage. Furthermore, the comprehensive intelligent connection and analysis of production data empowers us to constantly improve our product production progress and achieve the technological breakthroughs. These combined together support us to continually provide better solutions for our use of major demand and establish solid industrial advantages and competitive barriers. Thank you. Please go ahead. Great. Thank you. And then the next question, just moving beyond the water purification segment, can you shed some light on Viomi's strategic initiatives for its existing product segments? So what key developments or strategic pivots are you planning to drive growth, enhance Internet of Thing integration, and maintain the competitive advantage across your existing portfolio? Uh, Hans刚才的问题是, uh, uh,在现有的AIoT领产品领域的一些策略,以及为了推动增长,增强IoT整合,保持现有产品组合的竞争优势,公司计划在哪些方面有一些关键的一些动作和进展。呃,呃,这个问题也是由Mr.Sam来回
Thank you. Great. Thank, thank you for taking my questions. And again, congratulations on the results. Thank you. And our next question comes from Li Xingxin with CICC. Please go ahead. Hello. Okay, thank you, Claire. Uh, congratulations for the results. Uh, I'm Li Xingxing from CICC, and I have three questions, and I'll ask them one by one. And my first question is, I wonder uh, how did the quarterly revenue perform in Q3 and in Q4, and have we seen any improvement of IoT business? And except for the water purifier, which categories uh, are sold well in 2023? And that's my first question. Thank you. 嗯，好的，就是刚才问题是分季度来看的话，Q3和Q4的收入分别是什么样的情况，嗯，以及是否在IoT呃业务端有一些改善，以及除了净水器以外，2023年还有其他哪些品类销售会比较好？嗯，
let's talk about the overseas side. In addition to enriching the product category we offered, we have deepened strategic cooperation with leading local channels in various countries, utilizing the resources to further enhance our overseas sales and service capacities, and also promote our sustainable goals of our overseas business in the future. In conclusion, we aim to refine our operations in follow aspects. First, we will continue to optimize our revenue structure, increasing the revenue contribution of our core product, and further optimize gross margin. Second, we will further deepen collaboration with Xiaomi, supporting the recovery of our revenue skills. Third, we expect to see faster growth in overseas channels, no social media channels and the offline channels, which will further diversify our revenue sources. Okay, thank you, please. Hey, okay, uh, and my last question is, I wonder uh, what is the expense plan for 2024 and which areas should we input more resources and money on? And that's all for my question. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let me just uh, answer you directly. We will stick to strict cost control method and uh, severely monitor the return of uh, investment, ensuring the further optimization of our operational performance in 2024. We will allocate the resources in target key channels. First, we will put weight on investment in water purification products in online new social media channels, such as Douyin and uh, Kuaishou to reinforce the brand recognition among users and increase the market penetration of our products. Second, at the offline channel end, we will jointly develop the sales channels and promote the AI transform transformation of the home appliance in cooperation with the major shopping centers for home appliances as well as the JD offline stores and other e-commerce platforms. With respect to water purification products, we are also exploring channels relatively independent from each category in order to provide customer better product demonstration and long-term service support. Last but not least, about the overseas market, we are strengthening our cooperation with and support to local distributors, upgrading the intelligence level and increasing the brand exposure of product offered in the overseas market. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. This concludes our question and answer session. I would like to turn the conference back over to management for any additional or closing comments. Okay, thank you once again for joining us today. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us through the contact information on our website or our investor relations consultant, the PSNT group. And thank you all for the for the conference. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This concludes today's conference call. You may now disconnect your lines and have a wonderful day.